And that's exactly where you are. You're on Apple 98.5 FM with Pete and My Country Australia. And on the phone from uh, not too far away from where I am in Wallen is uh, Caitlin Thomas. Good evening, Dale. Good evening. How are you? I'm very, very well. And yourself? I am great. Absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, now, um, we're going to get to uh, why we've got you on the radio very, very soon, but uh, we're going to let uh, all the people know out there, who is Caitlin Thomas? Oh, well, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. Who is Caitlin Thomas? Well, um, uh, I've been, you know, in the industry, well, I guess I've been starting, well, starting singing um, when I was about eight years old. And uh, I first got into uh, country music when I was nine after um, witnessing uh, the Whittlesea Country Music Festival in yep. 2009 and I saw Becky Cole, the Sunny Cowgirls, um, play and uh, that was a moment to me where I went, that's where I see my career going. I can definitely see my future in country music, um, which was at the time I was uh, just starting to write songs as well so it was a good way for me to express what I was feeling even though I was only nine like you know not much was going on <laughs> but um ever since then I've been in and out of the studio constantly um songwriting and going to different um songwriting camps and stuff like that and to the states even and uh I finally got the guts to release a single which is incredible now, so yeah now I've actually played a song of yours before. So, was that a pop song bef before? Uh, oh, um, well, I did. This is my first country. This first debut, country one, yeah. Um, essentially, um, I guess I have released a couple of songs prior to um, to this single, which was pretty much where I was at the time. Yep. Uh, it would have been probably more poppy because that's where I sort of, kind of. Well, I didn't really know. Now I know, but at the time I was kind of I think it might have been like summertime or yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, which at the time you listen to the song, you can totally pick on where I drew inspiration from yeah. and what I was listening to as well, which is interesting. All right, <laughs> now um, you're you're a graduate of both the uh, junior and senior country music academy. How, right. how how were your times there at at the junior? How long ago were you at the junior one? Oh, the junior one, I was probably when I was 12 years old. So 2013 was when I went there. Yep. Which was a while back. Crazy. You can't even imagine like, how quick the years even gone. Right. And uh, I did the Senior Academy in 2018. Okay. Which was an amazing experience. Loved it. Yep. Two weeks of just full on music. And writing every songs. Day. And, and did you write plenty yeah. while you were up there? I did. I got to. Um, I wrote a couple of songs with a um, couple of the academy students. Um, but because we did get that one on one time with a mentor, songwriter, person, I got to write with uh, the incredible Alan Caswell. And we did write a pretty cool tune that I got recorded, which. Yep. You know? Haven't released that to the world yet, but you know we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Well, he he is a legend, Cass. Hundred percent. He's he's amazing. And ride co-writing with him was really cool. I was I learned a lot. I learned quite a few tricks from him in that co-writing session. Yeah, I, I went to a um, a songwriting thing with him uh, earlier in the year and uh, had a ball. Yeah, it's great. Oh, Even though I don't, I don't so write good. songs or anything. I went as a as a media person, but uh, I loved it. Yeah, it's amazing. Like songwriting is so. Like I, I had dry spells most majority of the time, but yep. that's why I like to go on these um, retreats because it's you're you're forcing yourself to allow time to sit down and, and go, right. okay, yep. what do I want to write about, and you know, get in that creative space. All so, right, now, yeah. we're going to get to the song in a minute, but uh, we'll keep going on with your, your personal highlights. Now, you've, you've uh, performed over at the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville and Honky Tonk Central. That would have been uh, a thrill, especially the Bluebird. Oh, you have no idea. It was amazing. That was back in 2016. Yep. And um, I just got endorsed by Mason Guitars at that point, and uh, they lent me um, this beautiful sunburst um, 8.0 performance guitar and I got to take that over to the stage and it 
thanks with me. And uh, I did a couple of co-writes over there, but performing at the Bluebird was just... I still pinch myself to this day <laughs> thinking about how I got there. And, like, it's such a blur. It's one of those things, like... I got up there and I did my performance, you know, went home and the next day I was like, wow, that's a dream, that didn't happen. And um, i got to tell you, the room was a lot smaller than what they predict. Yes, they it, say it's it doesn't small, look that big, know, yeah. Yeah, they say it's small and you're like, oh yeah, now nah, surely there's more room. Nah, it's fine. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, now, now let's get on to the reason why you're on tonight. It's for your debut country single, which is called First Kiss. Tell us a bit about uh, First Kiss and what it's all about. Well, uh, First Kiss, well, pretty much came about January this year up at Tamworth, and um, I was doing a couple of radio interviews, and I was asked the question of what is something that people don't know about you? And I was like, oh, okay, that's a bit different. Mm. I like to think that I'm an open book, but <laughs> I got me thinking and I was like, oh, well, I've never really had, you know, a foot-popping kiss like they have on the romantic comedy movies that, you know, you, you watch or yep. Christmas movies or whatever. And, um, you know, when the foot gets caught in the net, princess diaries, all of that kind of stuff. And <laughs> at the time, I knew that Katrina Boygon was coming back to Australia for a while and um, I've been wanting to write with her for years and I got in contact with her and she agreed to, you know, write a song with me and I pitched her the idea, she loved it and First Kiss was pretty much written on the back porch of the house that I was staying at during the festival time, which it was amazing and I loved the song and got it recorded and I thought, why not? This would be a great song for me to get out to the world. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much first kiss. Yeah. All right, now um, EP album. What 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 do we got coming next? What's what's next for you? Well, uh, I've been in and out of the studio um, for the last couple of years, yep. and I've pretty much got probably an album recorded essentially. But um, I'm definitely going to be releasing singles nonstop next year. So that's what's next for me. I've got the video clip for First Kiss coming out soon. Mm -hmm. And um, we're in the editing stages for that, which is pretty exciting. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep releasing music and getting my stuff out there and hopefully people buy it and want more, which would be awesome. That would be great. Yes, very much so. All right, now, coming up to Christmas, you've got a few gigs going on. Where, where are you gigging? Um, yeah, well, uh, I've got the Kilmore um, Christmas Carols this Friday. Yep. Um, and I've got the Yarra Glen Christmas Carols as well which I've been performing at the Yarra Glen Christmas Carols for the last five or six years. And uh, this year, I've got to tell you, they've asked me to dance with a dance school. So I'm, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh, I haven't danced since I was about like six years old. You know, hopefully I've still got the mood. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I've got that coming, I've got that coming up. So that's, that's going to be a heck of a time. I'm really looking forward to it. So... That's what's coming up in December. Yep, and then you're heading off to Tamworth. What's What do you got going on up in Tamworth? Uh, well, in Tamworth, I've got a list of gigs, which is really cool. Um, I'm doing the Ladies of Country on the 17th of January with Gina Tin, which is going to be a great show at West Lake. Yep. And uh, I've got, I'm doing a show with Jane Denham as well on the 18th, which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, I've got a couple of, you know, solo gigs at, like, Red Door um, Cafe to do... I think I've got an hour slot there, so... Which is pretty exciting. And uh, I've got um, Simon Johnson's Hillbilly Hut Showcase as yep. well um, on the 24th. So I'm pretty pretty wrapped and really excited about the upcoming camera and, you know, what it's got a hold. I'm excited to catch up with some friends and, you know... Well, have a really good time. I might even have a job for you. We'll, we'll talk off air, eh? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that'd All be right. great. All right. Now, to get your music now, I, I, obviously the single won't be available on uh, on CD or anything, but uh, how can we get your a single first kiss? Yeah, well, um, you can go head to my website, which is uh, www.caitlinthomasofficial.com, and uh, on that side it's got everything... Um, that you need to download the song to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, if not, you can go on my Instagram, which is Caitlin Thomas Music, and I do have a link 
um, in my bio that will take you directly to the sources. Sweet. To All download right. the song. All right, Dylan. Well, look, thank you very much for joining me tonight on My Country Australia. It's a, it's an absolute pleasure to get to know you. Oh, no, thank you so much for having me. I've had a, you know, it's been a, oh, just thank you. It's no problem. All right, well, we're going to play <laughs> your new song right now. All right, this is Caitlin Thomas and her brand new single called uh, A First Kiss. Not playing shy, but it's so 